是我想说一下，呃，我再想解释一下学校里面的事情，不是一个团体与团体之间的冲突，也不是一个种族之间的冲突。我觉得是学校一些他管理制度的冲突，他纵容学生去犯错，才会引起现在这么大的事情发生。The the problems in school, I don't think it's between any group,、um, any groups or any racial groups. I think it's because the school,、uh, the school's、um, administration who has allowed this to happen, they should be held、um, accountable. School's 的暴力事件不是一两年的，这是很多人都知道，这是十几年的。但是为什么它一直没有解决呢？就是没有人站出来。但是我觉得，我们既然站出来了，我既然站出来了，我们老师既然站出来了，他们想想帮学校去做，想去改变这些暴力事件，为什么教育局，为什么学校他不肯去帮忙呢？这是一个很疑惑的地方。难道他希望学校继续危险下去 ？The school violence has. Uh, has been an issue for a long time, and it hasn't been, uh, it has not been uh, solved, and no one stood up. And now we, the students stood up, the teachers stood up, and I don't understand why the school district and the school are not trying to help out. 我再次在这里呼吁，希望学校，希望这里所有的人，能帮我们一起解决。学校暴力的事情，因为这不是有益于我们今天做这些事情，不是有单单有益于亚洲学生，是有益于在校的每一个学生。I hope everyone here will help us to stop school violence, and I think、um, the school violence is not just affecting Asian students, but affecting everyone in school. I feel like you guys who are speaking out about this issue are heroes and are breaking many bad stereotypes young people in Philadelphia face. The student union is here for you in this fight for our schools. They actually teach us. I feel like you guys are powerful individuals for stepping up and showing us who the real cowards are. The adults who let this violence go on. The adults who won't apologize for the daily, mis the daily mistreatment you guys face. The people who don't stand with you all, so that we can we can end the systematic silences, silencing of students who want to see a real change and a real positive change in their school. So we're all standing here because, on behalf of Student Union, we feel that students should be allowed to go into school in a safe environment where everyone can get an equal education, and that education should not be hindered because of fear of violence and that. They're going to be attacked, and everyone at school should love each other. Not be, you know, you shouldn't be segregated because of your race or who type of person you are, your gender. That we should all there for a common goal, and that's to learn so we can better ourselves. And that's why we're here to support you guys. I feel like that's messed up to feel like you're in a situation where you're by yourself, but you you have plenty of help. You have us. You have the many other people that came here today to support you guys. You know, definitely. I, I mean, I feel like. Many other people that are here. That it hurts to to find out that there are groups of people that are just like us that are being, you know, cast to the wayside. I, I feel like that's messed up. And student union definitely has your back to help you with whatever endeavors you get into. We're here to help you. Stand、uh, but but this kind of stuff, what it does is it pushes people down. And every time you get a hit, or every time you get a racial slur, or any. Anytime something like this happens, or you face a bully in your life, and they try to push you down, they push you down, they give you these stories, and we have all this negative stuff in the media that's just trying to push you down. And then what we do in these circles, what we're trying to do, is to heal from it, and we're trying to say that's not the truth. The truth is in this room. The truth is the beautiful people here. That's the truth. And what I know, based on my experience. Is that deep down inside, every child is being victimized. Every child in our school district is being victimized. And there's so much sadness and anger, and、um, everything is mixed in 
together. But what I'm, I'm just sick. I'm tired of African American students being villainized, and I'm tired of Asian American students being victimized. And I'm so tired of this school district blaming it on our students when it's them. They can create the same spaces. We have a meeting with the South Philadelphia High School students. Um, we met with them yesterday on um, what happened at their school and what are the next steps on which we can support them. They feel that the next steps in which we can support them is maybe being in a multicultural meeting with them and the people from the district, which the district asked for. So being a part of Student U and being a multicultural group ourselves, we feel like that's something that we can help them with. Also, just coming out to their rallies, which they had today, was a lot of support for them and just letting them know that they do have support from other students who are in schools who have also had these conditions in our schools that are not being spoken out about. So just being students, speaking out about these things is a lot of support that PSU is giving them. We're just here supporting them for being the heroes that they are, stepping up and really saying like this isn't just a, a racial issue, it's an it's a issue with the, the schools that we're in and the district. Okay, thanks. In our, in our communities, in our schools, and identifying those root causes of that violence. Because no, no student should be afraid to go to school. No student should feel, they should all feel safe in every school. No matter what school you go to, you should feel safe in your school. A movement begins with the telling of an untold story. So this is us telling our story. This is us saying, whatever goes on in our schools, we're gonna talk about it. Whatever goes on in our community, we will talk about it. Whatever goes on and that story is not being told, then we are gonna talk about it. So this is us being vocal. And also, there's a quote by Dr. King that said, injustice anywhere is a threat to justice and everywhere. Basically meaning that if one student at one school doesn't feel safe at their school, we all shouldn't feel safe at our school. That's, that's a problem. So every time we hear about violence, we're always thinking about two people fighting. Yes, that's one form of violence, but there's several different forms of violence. When our schools are underfunded, we must also call that violence. When our communities don't have a lot of resources, that too is violence. Right? When we're losing our jobs, that too is violence. When our communities are being gentrified, that too is violence. Yes. I think that if Dr. King were alive today, he would be outraged. His dream seems to be as much a reality today as his nightmares. Because even though we live in a more racially integrated time, people are still fighting each other. But people don't fight because they are bad. They fight because they are frustrated. Yes. They're frustrated because they are surrounded by systemic injustice. The Philadelphia School District suffers from a deadly dropout rate of 50%. That's extremely unjust. The incident at South Philadelphia High School is unjust. Sarah High School students being called rioters and crack babies by the media and adults is unjust. I came into a high school system where 50% of the students drop out. Until I joined the Philadelphia Student Union, I didn't realize that there are public schools in Philadelphia that are peaceful. In this organization, students from all over the city come together peacefully. That was a culture shock to me. I want you to meet people's negativity and stereotypes with courage and clarity. I want you to reject violence in your words, actions, and thoughts. I want you to bring your community together and identify the root causes of violence and injustice. And I want you to stand up against injustice. And on top of that, you must also understand that the best way to, uh, the, the best way to combat violence is with an organized uh, movement of young people. So that means we must again stand together in solidarity against violence. And that's what we need to do it together. So that's the next Dr. King once stated that darkness cannot drive our darkness. Our light can do that. Hate cannot drive our hate. Only love can do that. Hate multiplies hate, violence multiplies violence, and toughness multiplies toughness in the descending spiral of destruction. The incident in my school, Stalfany High, has taught me that the only way to fight a particular kind of violence is for all students, regardless of race, to unify and stick together to find non-violent solutions.
That's why we, the students of South Philadelphia High School, have been working together with the support of the people from all races in the community to find out how to improve the climate and safety of our school so that events like the one on December 3rd will never happen again. Yeah. Dr. King also said that we must learn to live together or perish together at school. Thus, what we need to do now is to keep working together and we need more support from more people from everywhere, from our school in Philadelphia and beyond Philadelphia too, regardless of race. What we've been doing is not only for our own good, but also for the sake of the next generation of students as well. In any movement, you have been the most valuable asset to every movement. The civil rights movement with Dr. King, with the luncheons, it was the youth who sat in at the counter. When we were fighting apartheid in South Africa, it was the youth, the children, who stood up to the guns in Soweto. It was you. In Tiffany Square, it was the youth who stood up in front of those tanks and laid down in the streets. It was you, the youth. And today, today to fight the, to fight the violence in schools, again, it is you. The most powerful part of any movement is our youth. But we sometimes forget to talk about the other forms of violence. For example, our schools not being funded adequately is violent. Thank you. 